I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and when you look at cameras, traditional cameras at least, you don't think of Android. You see a big, bulky, old-school camera and an Android device. Well, Samsung's fusing those two together in the Samsung Galaxy camera, and it's one of two product announcements that's taking place tonight at Samsung Unpacked. Let's take a look right now. Live at you from Berlin. Uh, just before EFA, we've got some exciting products announcements. One of those is the Samsung Galaxy camera, and it's very clear that, as usual with any of these international trade shows, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep. That's why I just slurred my words, but maybe it's because I'm excited, too, because this represents a really interesting change for Android in a lot away. So imagine this, you know, you've got your wireless device, you love sharing those pictures, but you're like, you know what, the pictures aren't that great. It's 5 megapixels, 8 megapixels, you know, maybe not that great for uh, for the 8x10 on the wall. That's what I think Samsung's working with here with the Samsung Galaxy camera. It brings the power of Android to an actual camera device, or a device, I should say, that's focused around the camera, and it has some design cues from the, uh, the Galaxy series, uh, series rather, of devices. You've got a lot of uh, Android excitement here. You've got Android 4.1, also known as Jelly Bean. You've got 3G, 4G connectivity if the operator supports it, so that's really cool. You know, this is something we're not getting any announcements as to whether this is going to come to the States or what country specifically it's going to come to, but if, you know, a carrier in the USA, AT&T or Verizon supports it, you can get 3G or 4G connectivity through the actual device, but you can see Android 4.1 here, but it's got a really nice uh, interface, and it's got kind of everything but the phone. Take a look at some things that stood out to me. For example, the camera button here, you'll notice stays at the bottom regardless of what you're doing, and uh, bear with me here while I'm going from portrait to landscape with one hand, but you can see you know, a lot of functionality of Android here, Google Play Store built in, TouchWiz installed, messaging, contacts, internet, and more, so you can take advantage of that 3G, 4G capability, and then when you want to share your pictures, you can take those and then go from there. You've also got a flash on this device, you've got the camera stuff right here, the, uh, the still button, and then I can go to camera, and as you can see, click on that, and it brings out the zoom lens. And I've got my button here, my power button up top, and I've got the flash if I want it up there, and then I have the ability to record and do all the stuff you can do on the Samsung Galaxy S3 device, a share shot, a lot of neat features like that. It has a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core Exynos processor, it saves photos in the cloud, uh, and it shares, like I said, the same design language as the Galaxy S3, along with a 4.8 inch HD display. That would be a picture of a Coke bottle that I just took a minute ago. So you can see it's a really nice camera, and you can go from there and you can share these uh, pictures without having to worry about you know transferring it off in a micro SD, or an SD card, rather, and things like that. Smart Pro mode's really cool, we'll talk more about that in the coming days. This is the Samsung Galaxy camera from Berlin. Stay tuned for more coverage on PhoneDog.com. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. And hit me up on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Let me know what you think of this. Can the fusion of Android and a real camera be exactly what Samsung needs, not to mention what the market needs? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more from Berlin. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We'll see you next time. Say cheese.